Why? Because, like I said, people are killing themselves to get your length and long hair, and you about to lock it. Terrible. Tragic. I'm just saying. Listen. Tragic. Listen. You gonna lock your hair, and how many years you grow your hair? Growing your hair? It's only since been, been since 2010. Oh, like it's yesterday. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> But listen, though, listen, Linda. It's so it's gonna be so much easier, yo. You don't go through the pain I go through. Like I told you, when you got long hair, I take that over that. No, not my hair. Okay, I'm good. I don't know what about what? My hair? Yes, I am crying. You crying on and the inside? inside. <laughs> listen, it's okay. It really is. I hope you add a picture to see your limbs so they can see. Oh, they saw it on the last video. But I lost four inches from that last video. I mean, not before. Before the last video. So, I lost a lot of my length because I wasn't taking care of my hair. That's the thing. If you don't care for your hair, you can't not have a lazy week or a lazy month where you don't want to do nothing to your hair. So, uh, what you going to do with them dreadlocks? What, the locks? Not a thing. That's the but, point. Okay, but then you gonna lose hair too. No, I'm not. It's the hair. How's it different? I, yeah. How am I gonna lose hair? The hair's gonna be. But if you don't take it. No, it's going to be taken care of. But I don't have to put no oils, no thick heavy cream, no conditioner. I have to do none of that. So I guess you could come and rain my conditioner stash I have at the house. Oh, okay. I mean, that's a just the conditioners though, because oh, I need the shampoo. <laughs> Tragic. Can you get me breakfast? Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Oh gosh, a lot has happened since we last spoke. I have a cold, so you're gonna hear me sniffling. I apologize in advance. And I also have some water because I've been trying to get this video done from the beginning of the week, but I had a cold, my kids have a cold. I'm still getting over my cold. So if I talk a lot, I get the cough in a lot. So I have water to moisturize the back of my throat. Now, when I left off at the last video, it was supposed to be a part two. I filmed the part two. Some stuff about it didn't come out right. My camera cut off, battery died. It was just a mess. If you see me looking down, I'm just making sure that the camera's still recording. Um, that has just been a mess. So, uh, let's get into this gorgeousness that I have going on right here. I am so in love. Now, I'm gonna say this. My first week of having locks, I started my lock journey March 12th. We ended that Thursday of that week. I think it might have been the 17th. I think it might have been. We would have been done that Wednesday, but we had a snowstorm. Well, not even a snowstorm. We have a snow drizzle out here in Maryland, and they shut everything down. So we ended up not doing Tuesday. We would have been done Wednesday, but we ended up not working Tuesday, and we carried over to Thursday. <clears throat> so it took five days, 40 hours in the chair I'm gonna say this <coughs> I was prepared with my laptop I was prepared with my phone I had my earplugs I had my charger I was prepared when I tell you my consultant is the bomb we had conversations the whole time she did my hair I think maybe I got to watch two shows um, the first day we started was a Sunday. We started at 9 o'clock. We didn't get done until 8. We did maybe about a 15 minute break. We only, we, we, we had breaks, but it was briefly. It was like, eat real quick and then jump back on it. Well, I gotta pee real quick and then go. But it wasn't like, oh, it was like an hour. It was no more, I promise you, the first day. It was no more than 30 minute break total for everything. I actually sat, which was surprising to me. Now, Monday, I went in at 9.30, and we stopped at 8. It was the same thing. We just kept on going. She's amazing. We had all this conversation. Um, it, it, went, it went pretty good. Now, of course, Tuesday, we couldn't do anything Tuesday because of the snowstorm. So that carried us off into Wednesday. Wednesday, I went in at 9.30, and we stopped at 8. 
Thursday, 9.30, and we stopped at, we, I think we got finished at 5 or 6.30. I'm not 100% sure. Now, my day ran pretty smoothly. I didn't think, um, I really didn't, the only day I prepared something, I think, was Wednesday. Excuse me. That was the only day I prepared something. Because we just like ordered out, we actually have a pretty good variety of uh, carry out in the area. So we were able to order uh, stuff and they, you know, dropped it off. We knew we stopped at three o'clock every day to eat and then we ate and then we kept it pushing. Now, when I first got the nut, no, first of all, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to say this. I'm tender head, very tender head. I care what nobody say. That mess hurt me so. Whoo, it hurt. Jesus, it hurt. It hurt me. I don't know anybody else's experience, but my experience was it was painful. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, stop doing my hair painful. But it was like, why wow, y'all didn't tell me? It was gonna hurt. My sister's like, you should have called me and asked me because, like I said, you know she has sister locks. Hey Kim. So I was like, I mean, I didn't think it was going to hurt that bad. And she was like, well, no, girl, you should have called me. So um, she was like, no, you should have called me because I would have told you. But it was just certain spots when she oh, when she got to those spots, I wanted to jump out the chair. It felt like she was snatching my soul. And it's not nothing she did. It's that those are my tender spots, like right back here. And then somewhere along the front here, it felt like my soul was being ripped out my body. It really did. But we powered through and we got finished. My first week was Sister Locks. Because Thursday's official, yesterday officially made a week. <coughs> I'm going to tell you this. And I'm being 100% transparent. I hated them <laughs> until... I was forced to shampoo them yesterday, Thursday, which made a week. I tried to go to two weeks, but my scalp, y'all, was so terrible that I had to. Of course, I did the banding method. Everybody have videos all over YouTube on how to band for Sister Lock. So I don't think I would do that video unless you guys want to see. I don't know. <coughs> but I banded up real good and I shampooed it. And when I tell you I was in heaven, I was in heaven. So what I did was, because I didn't want to have a wet head, I kept it in the band. And I went under the dryer. I sat under the dryer for maybe 45 minutes. And like the last 10 minutes, I had it on like no heat. So it just kind of cooled my scalp down. And when I took it out, I was like, baby. See, and, the reason, and let me tell you why I hated them. I hated them because they just looked like I just braided my hair in singles. And they were just stiff. No movement. They didn't loosen up. Like I was I was like, no, this is not what I signed up for. You know, I see everybody else's videos and they make it look good and they make it work for them. But for me, <coughs> excuse me, for me, it wasn't working. I hated them. I just knew that once they relaxed and I would have been happy with them. I'm I'm not I'm I'm in love with them now, but I cannot wait for them to mature and get full and get rounded because I have movement now, right? But I'm pretty sure it's nowhere near compared to the movement I'm gonna have once they get all relaxed and rounded and all that good stuff. Now I'm gonna tell y'all I do have let me see if I can I got some baby ones. I got some baby ones. <clears throat> I got some on this side, some baby ones. I really don't have any baby ones in the back. Uh, it's a little shorter, but they're not like baby babies. So I do have some baby ones that I am so careful with. I was so careful with those when I was banding my hair to shampoo it. Like I braided like a cornrow. I parted it down the middle and I had like a corner going down with um, some of the longer hair and I braided it on there and I did the same thing to the other side and then I added the braid in the next braid so that way it made sure they were like really reinforced and I feel like me getting under the dryer 
kind of helped to not cause slippage I don't know I might be wrong but for me that's what I felt um so yeah I shampooed it and of course I'm rocking the braid out she is lovely I'm happy y'all like I'm 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 genuinely happy at first I didn't think I was gonna find this piece and I'm happy and this is just the beginning like this is the baby stage like I'm a week in now imagine when I get to like two weeks I mean, I mean not two weeks two months I'll be super excited because I know it's probably gonna loosen up some more I'm just excited so I have an appointment April 10th to go get my retie oh that last day the last two rows I swear to God, I wanted to just leave them two rows alone and the next time I come back for my retire, you can do them. It felt like it took her the longest to do those, but it didn't. I'm just so happy they're done. Uh, I'm done with that process. Now, I do go back April 10th for my first retire and that one, she'll let me know when, how long she needs to see me. If I'm a four-weeker, a six-weeker, or eight-weeker, I guarantee that I'm going to be a four-weeker because... I already have like growth already <coughs> so I know I'm gonna be a four weeker if I'm not I'll be totally shocked so I mean hey that's fine with me Just keep some money in my pocket for a couple to a couple weeks longer um no I do not know how many locks I have I haven't ventured out to count them yet the, see what I was gonna do was Next week when I'm supposed to shampoo my hair, I was going to section them off and count them. And then, hey, y'all. But, yeah, no. I did not count them. I was not feeling the counting. I was over it. Um, we did do, she did uh, lock pattern number four on me. Um, because of my hair tight. She said they, they'll be tighter. I'll have less chance of slippage. So, hey, I was fine with that. Um, and if anybody wanted to know, I'll post her information down below. Um, but she's an amazing loctician. She's been locking for a while, sister locks, uh, and regular locks. She does everything natural hair related. Um, she's at Natural Vibe Salon, and that's out here in Rosedale, Maryland. I'll leave her information below her Facebook. I don't think I'll put her phone number out there. But I will definitely leave all that information below. And I'll link her style seat because she is on style seat. <coughs> if you were looking for somebody. Um, Jenny is amazing. I can't keep on. I cannot give her her props. Like she's an amazing uh, consultant. I enjoyed our conversation. I mean it was just it was just amazing. Like the type of person she is. It's just. It was like a breath of fresh air. The more you know who you are and what you want the less you let things upset you.